Connor, what do you say if on a night like tonight, is it partially luck? It's a, yeah, it's a big part of it's luck. Um, you, know, you always have certain things you want to be able to try and do offensively, and um, execution was there in a, in a couple plays, and you know, like I said, a little bit of luck, and guys away from the puck working well too. First one, you know, definitely the retrieval in the corner on the power play was huge. Net front, uh, there was net front on the, on the third goal, I'm mixing them up, and then the Nylander pass, you know, lands flat right as it gets there. Some nights those, you know, soar on you, and you miss them, so there's a lot of luck. Blue Line did a good job of getting pucks on net. Not easy against this team as we saw in Bridgeport last weekend. Yeah, they commit to blocking shots. They play a very blue collar game. You know, every team knows that. It's a compliment to the, you know, structure with which they play. They're very consistent. Um, and so, you know, that's what the playoffs are all about. You know, different nights, certain guys got to step up. You know, uh, Vic comes up with a huge goal at that time. Um, you know, you talk about details of the game. Face off play gets the sixth one that helps, you know, certainly eases the uh, anxiety level of the defense and the goaltender back there being up twos. Um, so all of a sudden you piece it bit by bit and you got a pretty good effort to win with. When was the last time you had a hat trick? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I had one in midget, like three on three hockey maybe in the summer. I don't know. It's been a while. So hat trick, five points. What did you eat today? I don't know. I'm going to eat it again though. <laughs> yeah. What does it say about the team that five of the six goals came from the blue line of the defense corps? Openness as any league. I think of a lot of it. You know, your your defensive group. You're not going to have looks at the net if your if your forwards aren't aren't producing and creating looks for yourself. And that's the beauty about you know joining the rush and, and being active with the talent that we have up front. You know, certain guys. You know, they may not see a a vast majority of our lineup has the skill set, uh, the poise to to make plays and execute. Um, and that's what I think you saw was some nice plays by our forwards, uh, some execution by our defensemen and. Um, you know, pucks went in the net. So. How, about, how about you personally coming from the Leafs? How do you feel different as a player in terms of coming back to this league? And I think it's minutes more than anything and, you know, comfortability. Um, you know, the anxiety levels aren't as high. You know, in the NHL, you know, every night you've, you've got to impress. In the AHL, it's the same thing. Just, you know, personally, I've got a larger cushion of success, you know, that I can rely on. You know, okay, I've made this play here. You know, I'm more familiar with the players, you know. Um, and I, I played Bridgeport, uh, you know, quite a bit my last couple of years before, you know, this series. So um, I think just kind of eases the game and lets your, you know, truer game come out bit by bit. Do you think just despite being a young guy yourself that that sort of experience in the NHL has helped you with the younger teams? Or Absolutely. I think that was part of the, you know, the organization's thought process is, you know, we're going to throw a lot at these young guys. And um, for some of them, you know, they're going to struggle more than others. But, you know, at the very least, it's going to be a, a growing process, hopefully in the, in the right direction for the you know, vast majority of guys. So, um, you know, anytime you've got some NHL experience and playoff experience, you know, different things like that, uh, you, you pull on it, you know, um, and try and bring in, you know, similar mindsets, you know, details of the game that work for you then.